High Amendment would effectively fire Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas as Secretary of the Homeland Security for the atrocious job that he is doing with our southern border and our overall security of our nation. Earlier this year, the House of Representatives passed my impeachment articles against Secretary Mayorkas, making him the first cabinet secretary to be impeached since 1876. If the House impeached Secretary Mayorkas, we should certainly not pay him. Here are some real life consequences of Alejandro Mayorkas's failures. Rachel Morin, a mother of five from Maryland, was brutally raped and murdered by an illegal alien from El Salvador, who Mayorkas allowed to enter our country as a gotaway. A 13-year-old girl in New York City was violently raped at knife point and kidnapped, 13 years old, in broad daylight by a vicious illegal from Ecuador. He's a monster who previously was caught crossing the border with a three-year-old child on his back in 2021. And then he was released into the United States of America under Secretary Mayorkas. 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungare was strangled to death and dumped in a creek in Houston, Texas by two illegals from Venezuela who were released under Secretary Mayorkas earlier this year. I can't understand and comprehend why my colleagues across the aisle want to keep this going. 12 years old this child was. 20 years old Kayla Marie Hamilton was raped and strangled to death by an illegal MS-13 gang member who was apprehended but subsequently released under Mayorkas. By the way, he was covered in gang tattoos. They knew exactly what he was, but Secretary Mayorkas is uh, under his leadership, these monsters get released into our country. 22-year-old Lakin Riley was brutally kidnapped and murdered by an animal from Venezuela who was released into our communities under Secretary Mayorkas and not prosecuted in the justice system in the state of New York. No more Americans should have to die because Secretary Mayorkas refuses to enforce the laws of our country. Secretary Mayorkas's policies are escorting murderers, rapists, criminal trespassers, gang members, and terrorists into American communities 